but mostly it's about the boxers themselves. Nutting, kicking, you know, everything. All kinds of villainy. That's, you know, when I fought on the other shows. Then uh, Frankie come along and he's made it sensible. The first one that nuts disqualified. <laughs> there is no villainy whatsoever. I was sick, you know, because my fights used to be over in one ring because I could nut them and do what I like. But now, mustn't, mustn't. More you dead there because you get disqualified. There's no pressure on anybody. You know, you fight because you like fighting. And let's be fair, you know, when you fight on these shows, you're not fighting out in the street. Because you've got to train for six, seven weeks to fight on one of these shows. Our fight of their own audience, their own roots. Why should it be in the National Sporting Club or the Hilton Hotel? Why shouldn't it be... If you can imagine a pot of boiling water and it's always simmering, it's ready to boil. Lenny McLean is like a dog. He's going to come back and bite you. He got involved in unlicensed boxing, thinking I might as well go straight to the top. Roy Shaw, he was certified insane. Lenny Hash bang wallop. That's why they call me Daddy Cole. Look at me. Cool as a cucumber. After we got TV roles, movie roles, as soon as I saw him, I thought, if I ever end up making a movie, he's going to be in the movie. But he did have that range. The tragedy was, Lenny wasn't well at that point. He was a tortured soul. He always looked at his opponent like it was a stepfather. It must have been very, very difficult for him to have a problem like that. It was a vulnerability. There was definitely something wrong with him. There was something deeper. I went to prison for having a fight. So are you paying for the sins of your father?